left his stuff all over his desk. Ooh, gum. Yeah. I forgot my pencil. Ooh, yes, pencil. Okay. Um, four times five equals twenty-one. No, twenty. Man. I got pranked. You didn't see what happened to me when I used the eraser. This happened. These erasers are rigged. I mean, you can't see that one, but it's not ink. So, hey guys, welcome to Channel 22, and today we're going to be doing a Channel 22 tutorial, and I want to explain something to you. Um, I'm not taking, well, I am taking credit for this, but I'm not going to say this is my invention until I figure out if anyone has done this before, but... Um, I created the prank pencil. I didn't go off of anyone's idea. I'm just not sure if anyone has done this before. So, I came up with this in my case. But I don't know if anyone else has done this before. So, this is the prank pencil. And it's a pencil. But then it's got a crayon on the back. And so when you go to use it, it gets stuff all over your paper. And if you use high quality crayons, then it does not come off. So let's go over to the working station so I can show you how to Okay. Make it. So we're gonna be using this paper as a test paper. But the supplies you will need is some crayons, a pair of scissors, pencils. Oh, and you don't need this other supplies, I just have it here. Sound machine. Okay, but here are the prank pencils that I have made. I made an Easter egg one, a plain one. This one's my favorite. I've made this one. And this one, I like the pattern on this one. I've made that one, that one, and that one. And I made these all in one day. So, um, we're going to be making three more. The three colors I need to complete what I want. So, um, the colors I'm using are sea green. Wild watermelon, my favorite crayon color, other than marvelous. And just so I can show you, this is molten lava from Crazy Art. So we have a couple Crayolas and Crazy Art. And so, first thing that you need to do is pull the erasers out of the top of your pencils. Perfect. Now they look like this when they're pulled out. I really recommend to use these. They're from Walmart because it's easiest to get them out because it's not a metal ring around it. But if you're going to use a metal ring pencil, then I would really recommend to get one that's loose on the metal so that you can just pull the eraser out. Now, I have pulled this out before, but it did take me one try. I didn't have to take the barrel off, which sometimes you have to do. Now that we have this, you take your hands, and sometimes this will fly across the room. So I'm not too sure what it's going to do today. So we're going to cut it over the top of here. And for Croyola, I cut here, and for Crazy Art, I cut at either this line or this line, depending on how long or short you want your eraser. Cut. And the last one. Cut. Oop, falling. <laughs> now these crayons are still usable. They just look a little damaged. But you can obviously trim that up and fix that. So, bye. Uh -huh. So, now let's get to work. And we're just going to start by pulling off. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> you want to start by pulling off your paper. Obviously, we're not professionals. So, we do have mistakes in our videos, and that's okay. Um... Now that we have this, there are different ways you can do this. Now, one way is to twist and it just shaves off the pencil piece until you get your eraser. And, and this makes it more of a new pencil kind of look. That's good. That's to my liking. Oh, sound. 
Now, if this is not working for you, there are different things that you can do. You can either put some glue in the empty barrel of your erase of your pencil so that and it does make kind of a mess but if you keep it together then it's fine but um you can put some glue to make it stay obviously it writes and this is really good for pranking people and it looks pretty cool too because it looks exactly like an eraser now if you don't like that this is thicker than the so that's what you're gonna get if it's, it's thicker than the barrel of the pencil that's what you're going to get with this technique, but you can just go in with a pair of scissors, trim it down, or trim it down with your nail, and that's totally fine. Now I have red to add. And you can keep these erasers, and they're good, and you can interchange them with your crayon. So that's awesome. Next. So the next technique is to take your scissors and trim off like this. It's just easily... It's what your pencil and there is something very nice about this is if you have your pencil shavings the crayon will actually pick up the shavings if it's not atta attracted so as you can see it picked it up and you can press it on and, make it <laughs> and you can press it on <laughs> to make your um pencil longer but it really doesn't do too much but it's just kind of cool and kind of fun to do um As you can see, there are pencil shavings going places, but that's okay. Pick it up. Okay, well, next step to this is I just roll it out to make it smooth. Take the pencil and place the eraser in. Now, my favorite personal part with this one is to shave it down to make it look like a real pencil. I love that part and you can cut off the edges and just use your creative abilities to add this now if it's not staying you can also take some tape and wrap it around the barrel but you don't have to oh and if you're wondering the barrel is this piece barrel is this piece here but that's that um, and it does you can smooth it out more um, just as in, I'm doing this quickly, so I don't really have time to smooth it out more. Um, I obviously just pressed it down so that I can make it more of my desired shape, and pressing it down will make it smaller, and make it, like, I like some of them like this, at an angle, so that it looks like you used one side of the eraser. And so, yeah, I'm going to do this one off camera, and then show you all the different barrels and erasers that I've done. So, yep. Here's a rainbow. Um, this is the one I just finished. I mean, it's not completely smooth on the side, but that's okay because erasers aren't perfect. I'm going to show you a close-up of my favorite and, in my opinion, most realistic. This one was the first one I ever made. I know. Surprise, surprise. But, um... Now, we're going to do something a little bit more fun. So, piece of paper. Now, we're going to separate the pencils and it's a rainbow! How a rainbow, people. So much fun. It's just so colorful. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe down below. And hit that notification bell, the L bell. And bye guys. See you next time.